Good evening, Owls fans. It's senior night for the Temple men's basketball team at the Leah Chorus Center, and the stakes are high for the Owls as they host the UCF Knights in a key conference contest to determine seeding for the AAC Conference Tournament. The Owls looking for some momentum, having dropped six of their last seven. Meanwhile, UCF has also been struggling as of late, dropping three of their last four. We pick things up in the second half. Owls in their gray uniforms going from right to left, and the UCF Knights in their black uniforms going from right to left. Kelly, the leading scorer in this one with 16 points, only 60% from the free throw line. Nails the second one, however. Owls leading by one. White inbounds it inside to Miller. Miller finds Dunn on the left elbow. Dunn over to Miller. Miller looking for some space. Gets it over to Dunn. Dunn with one minute remaining in this one. Looking, trying to create some space. Double team finds a wide open. Miller who can't connect on the three ball there. Rebounded by Johnson. Knights going the other way. 45 seconds left. And a timeout is called by the UCF Knights. Owls up one in this one. 52-51, 45 seconds remaining when we come back. Don't go anywhere. All right, we're back here in what is a scintillating encounter. Owls up by one against the UCF Knights in their final home game of the season. On the floor for the Owls, John Cooch, White, Picks, Jordan and Dunn. On the floor for the UCF Knights, Thorain, Johnson, Horton, Kelly, and Hendricks. 14 seconds to go in this one. Quick inbounds. Kelly on Dunn. Kelly goes for the lay-in. Over John Cooch and gets the lay-in to fall there. Up by one. Seven seconds left. Owls still have a timeout. Dunn fouled, unable to get it to go with 2.7 seconds remaining. Dunn will go to the line to shoot two. McKee opting not to go for the timeout with that one as the Owls had one to give. But Dunn, the 88% free throw shooter, will go to the line to look to give the Owls the lead. Done, able to connect on the first. Tie ball game here at 55 to 55. Number two seconds left. Dunn misses the second, but Jordan gets the tip end with 0.5 seconds to go. Nick Jordan with the clutch rebound and puts it back in with 0.5 seconds remaining. What a big time play for the big man, Nick Jordan. Able to clean up Dunn's missed free throw there to give the Owls a crucial two-point lead in this one. The Knights will have 0.5 seconds left on the clock when we come back from this one. Gonna have to drop a desperation heave. All right, coming off the timeout. Big time play from Nick Jordan on the putback off the missed free throw by Don. Owls up 57-55. And the referees have put the game clock to 0.9 seconds. So a little bit more wiggle room for the Knights, but not much. But they're going to have to throw up a desperation heave if they're to hope for a miracle in this one. And 
steal the win from the Owls in their last home game of the season. Freeman inside gets it off to, and it's no good by Johnson. The Owls claim this one, 57-55 for the Temple Owls as they close out their final home game of the season with a nail-biting win over the UCF Knights. Thank you for all those listening on WHIP Radio. I'm Jesse damage Louvay. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Miller at the line here, shooting three. Dunn at the line, shooting his third of three free throws. And makes the third, stretches the lead to eight here with 1540 left in the second half. The Temple Owls in gray going from right to left. The UCF Knights in black going from left to right. Little pass out there. Owls bring it up the court. Dunn swings it over. Top of the key to Miller. Miller back over to Dunn. Dunn. Looking, dribbles inside the paint, dishes it into Reynolds, who gets the foul, but won't get the basket to fall. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Owls leading 33-27 with 15-18 left in the second half. The Owls sporting their gray jerseys, moving from right to left. The UCF Knights in black going from left to right. Reynolds now at the line, shooting two. Kemex on the first. His first point of the night. And gets the second one to fall, stretching the lead to eight. 35-27, UCF now bringing it up the court. Swings it over in the corner. Durr takes the three ball. And an air ball. Rebounded by White. Jaleel White of the Owls passes it over to Miller. Miller to Dunn on the left side. Dunn finds the six. Who misses the three ball. Rebounded by Johnson. Johnson inside to Kelly who finds Horton Horton now inside Hendricks beautiful teardropper there over Reynolds 35-29 now for the Owls Miller bringing it up 14-12 remaining in the second Miller finds White top of the key Inside, Hicks almost loses it, but Dunn able to retrieve it. Back top of the key to Miller. Miller with six on the shot clock. Miller double team, stolen away by Durr. UCF on the fast break. 
Inside shot there, no good by Kelly. Owls able to grab the rebound there after the loose ball. Miller pulls up for three. No good. Tipped away. Hicks gets the rebound. He'll shoot a three. That one is good. Zach Hicks with the three ball, 38-29. 13-21 remaining. Nine-point lead. Tied for their largest lead of the night. Three ball by Hendricks, and that one's good. A little bit of call and response there from the Knights. 38-32. Just under 13 to go. Dunn finds Miller. Miller waiting for the Owls to set up their offense. This is over to Dunn on the left elbow. Dunn inside to Reynolds. Reynolds passes it over to a wide open Miller who buries the three. Two straight three balls from the Owls. And the Owls fans are on their feet now. Johnson brings it up the court. Finds Horton. Horton, right side. Dribbles it in. Finds Durr, who nails the jumper on the left elbow. 41-34. Temple. 12-04 remaining. Dunn brings it up on the right-hand side. Finds Miller. Miller dishes it inside to Reynolds. Reynolds on the right-hand side. Backing up, dishes it out, long pass to Dunn. Dunn over to Miller on the left-hand side, brings it inside. White, great give and go there to Reynolds, who's unable to get the layup. White there for the rebound, put back, and is fouled on the play. He'll go to the line after the next timeout. Jalil White now at the line, shooting two. Buries the first. Fourth point of the game from White. And he knocks down the second. 43-34 Owls, 11-40 remaining. Young now, bring it up the court. it over. And the Freeman. Loose ball picked up by Dunn and a foul is called. Foul is called on Zach Hendricks. White will inbound here. Inside to Dunn. Full court press now from the Knights. Feeling the desperation here. Miller draws inside. The Owls half. Reynolds, little pick and roll. Over to Miller. Miller looking for a shot. Drives into the lane. Layup is no good, but Reynolds there for the putback. Jamil Reynolds able to clean it up there with a beautiful two-handed putback slam. UCF now going the other way. Kelly, top of the key. Over to Freeman. Freeman over to Kelly. Kelly inside. Gets the lay in to go there. Owls leading 45 36. 10 35 remaining. Don will inbound now. UCF really applying the pressure there. Quick double team on Miller. Dunn trying to pass the half court line. Right hand side. Finds Miller on the right side. Inside of Reynolds. Reynolds backing in. Quickly double team. Tries the shot off. No good there. Rebounded by Young. 
Young. Over to Freeman who finds Kelly. Kelly, three ball and nails it. C.J. Kelly with the three ball there. Cuts the lead to six. 9.50 to go here in this one. Dunn on the left-hand side. Finds Hicks. This is off to Miller. Miller looking now. Quickly double teamed. Hicks finds an opening. Dunn, three ball. Off the rim, but rebounded by White, who gets a friendly lay-in roll there. 47-39 Owls. 9.20 remaining. Young brings it up. Setting up the play here. Finds Freeman. Freeman, right elbow. Back over to Young. Young back over to Freeman, who's open for three. No good. Rebounded by Hicks. Almost goes out of bounds on that one. Able to dish it off to Dunn. White now bringing up the court on the right-hand side. And as Kelly is called for a foul on that one. On I see a Miller. John Cooch now checking in for the Owls. Replacing Reynolds. 8.54 remaining. Owls up eight. UCF will also throw in a substitute. Durr checking in for Hendricks. Done now. Top of the key. This is over to White. White finds Hicks. Hicks back out to White. Thought he had a look at the three. Swings it over and it's picked off. Picked off by Durr and a foul is called against the Owls. <laughs> Kelly will inbound it at the half court line. Into Young. Sloppy last play there from White. Driving to the basket. And Kelly is fouled by John Cooch. John Cooch was hit with his third foul of the game. Kelly will bring it inside here. Finds Young, top of the key. Over to Edwards. Edwards finds Kelly. Kelly inside. Edwards back to Fremont. Draws it up. Little Nowitzki fadeaway there by Freeman. Owls up 47 41. Eight minutes remaining. Both teams feeling the pressure now. I see a Miller. Double team finds Dunn over to Hicks. Left elbow doesn't get that one to fall. Rebounded by Freeman and the foul called against the Owls. Timeout here by Aaron McKee. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on WHIP Radio. All right, picking things back up here. 742 remaining. Knights down six. Young from the Knights, bring it up here. Finds Kelly. Kelly in the lane and lays it in. Shaves the Owls lead down to four. Poked out of bounds by UCF. It will remain Owls basketball. Jordan checked into the game here for John Cooch, who picked up two quick fouls. On the floor for the Owls, Jordan Miller. And done. Done. Bringing it up the court. Left hand side. Over to Miller. Miller. Finds Dunn. Top of the key. Dunn. Working. This is it over to Hicks. Over to Miller. Three on the shot clock. Miller's got to get a shot up there. Lays it in, and it's no good. Shot clock violation 
for the Owls. Good defense there by the UCF Knights. Pressuring Miller into a poor shot selection there. Dunn taken out of the game, replaced by Jaleel White. Quiet night from Dunn, only six points this evening. Durr dribbles inside the paint, finds Freeman, draws the double team. Shot three-point no good by Kelly. Rebounded by White. Over to Miller. Miller, top of the key. Miller looking. Double team. Gets the defender to fall. Jalil White goes up. This is it around. A wide open Zach Hicks. Doesn't get it to fall. Rebounded Jordan. Jordan now. Brings it back outside to Miller. Shot clock at 12. Miller looking. Finds Jordan. Jordan inside the paint and draws the foul. Great play there from Nick Jordan to keep it alive. Owls up by four. Six minutes left. Nick Jordan will go to the line, shooting two. Misses the first. Jordan, 62% free throw shooter on the season. UCF making some changes here. Bringing out Fremont for Horton. Jordan gets the second one to fall. Throws the lead to five. 5.51 remaining. Durr, top of the key. Has an open look, but dishes it off to Kelly. Kelly of the Knights on the right-hand side, working on Jordan. And Jordan fouls Kelly. The Owls are still not in the bonus here, so UCF will bring it in. UCF's Theron coming in for Young. Johnson guarded by Miller. Johnson over to Hendricks. Hendricks is inside, unable to get the layup to go. Rebounded by Jordan. Owls going the other way with it. White almost loses it there. Double team finds Dunn. Dunn over to Miller. 5.08 remaining. Owls up five. Miller has it. Poked away. Able to get to Jordan. Jordan over to Dunn. Dunn with the three ball. No good. And an over the back foul called against UCF. That one will go against Kelly. His first of the game. Owl's doing a good job at getting second chance opportunities here. Jamil Reynolds will go to the line for a one and one. Reynolds with four points on the game. Misses the first one there. Rebounded by Kelly. Kelly finds Johnson. Over to Horton. Horton over to Kelly. Kelly finds Johnson. Johnson dribbling inside the paint guard by Dunn. Kicks it back out to Kelly. Kelly dribbles in. Goes for the lay-in. No good. Kept alive by Hendricks. Hendricks lay-in. No good. Staying with the play now. And it will remain UCF basketball. 
foul is going to go against Isaiah Miller. Crazy sequence there. UCF unable to get the lane, but sticking with the play there. Hendricks no good. And Hendricks will go to the line to shoot two. Jordan checking out of this one for Hicks. Hendricks at the line now. Makes the first. 48-44 Owls. 4.28 remaining. And Hendricks nails the second one. Three-point game. Now, 4.27 remaining. Miller over to Dunn. Dunn back over to Miller. Miller crosses the halfway point. Top of the key. Looks for Dunn. Dunn. Finds an open Miller who passes inside to Reynolds. Reynolds back out to Hicks. Hicks unable to get the friendly rebound, but rebounded by Reynolds. Back over to Dunn. Mill Hicks for the three. No good. And a foul is going to go against the Owls here, but we'll take a quick timeout. Foul will go against White. Jalil's White third foul of the game. It will be UCF basketball when we return. Durr is at the line shooting two here. Owls up by three, 48-45 in the gray jerseys going from right to left. UCF Knights in the black jerseys going from left to right. Durr nails the first. Two-point game here. 3.55 remaining in the Owls' final home game of the season. And Durr gets the second one to fall. One-point game. The Owls have been scoreless in the last two and a half minutes of play. Inbound pass to Miller. Miller brings it up court. Top of the key, over to Dunn. Dunn fouled by Kelly. That'll be Kelly's first foul of the game. Dunn will be at the line shooting one and one. Done 88% from the free throw line this season. Doesn't get it to go. Rebounded by Hendricks. Quiet evening from Damian Dunn this evening. Only seven points on the night. Unable to give the Owls a little bit of a buffer here. Kelly goes inside, fouled by Reynolds. He'll go to the line to look to put the Knights ahead. The Owl faithful letting their displeasure be felt here. CJ Kelly at the line, shooting two. Kelly 11 points on the game. And nails the first. Tie game here at the Leocorus Center. 48 all. 325 remaining. And Kelly puts the out the Knights up by one. 325 remaining. UCF Knights defense paying off as the Owls have gone cold in the last three minutes of play. Becoming a little bit of a trend here in their last few games. Having dropped six of their last seven. Miller over to Hicks. Hicks, top of the key to Dunn. Dunn, top of the paint, looking to pull back. This is off to Hicks. Hicks over Durr. Durr is called for the foul. That'll be Durr's fifth foul of the game. And 
And it looks like the Knights bench are going to talk it over here. McKee doing the same thing. And John Cooch will come into the game. Replacing Hicks. 2.55 to go in this one. Owls trailing by one. Zach Hicks will be at the line shooting two. Nick Jordan coming in for Hysia Miller. Hicks eight points on the game. Three of 13 shooting. Two of 10 from the three-point range. Gets the first one to go. Tying things up at 49 apiece. 2.55 remaining. Hicks gets the go-ahead free throw. 50-49. Owls now. Johnson. Over to Kelly. Kelly finds Hendricks. Hendricks. Over to Kelly on the right-hand side. Guarded by John Cooch. And John Cooch fouls Kelly, who will go to the line to shoot two. The Owls again unhappy with that call. As the Owls are now over the limit. CJ Kelly at the line now. 15 points on the game. Misses the first. Owls call a substitution, taking out Jordan and John Cooch, replaced by Reynolds and Miller. Reynolds, not the greatest rebounder. Only three on the game this far. As Kelly gets the second one to fall. 50 to 50. 232 remaining. Owls bringing it up to court. Miller finds Dunn. Dunn on the right-hand side. Guarded by Kelly. Dunn finds some space. Pull back. Jumper, and that one's good to go. Great little move there from Dunn to create some space and nail the jumper. He's at eight points on the game. Owls up 52-50. Just under two minutes to go. Horton for three, no good. Rebounded by White. Over to Miller. Owl slowing things down now. Miller bringing the ball up the court. The Owls on their feet. They can feel it now. And a timeout is called by Coach McKee. Owls up 52 to 50 with 137 remaining when we come back. Back here at the Leah Chorus Center. Dunn will inbound the ball on the floor for the Owls. Miller, Reynolds, White, and Hicks. For the UCF Knights, Theron, Johnson, Horton, Kelly, and Hendricks. Dunn inside to Miller. 130 remaining. Owls up two. Dunn finds Hicks, top of the key, over to Miller. Miller tries to go inside. This is it back over to Hicks. Hicks and it's poked away by Johnson. And Johnson falls to the ground and a foul will be called against Jaleel White. Jaleel White's fourth foul of the game. And Johnson on the ground here. Looks like he hit his nose pretty hard there when he hit the deck. Helped out by his teammates. Ooh. 
Great little pickup there by Horton. Owls fans booing, thinking there's a little flopping going on. But Kelly will go to the line and shoot two. 118 remaining. This is the first. <laughs> Kelly, the leading scorer in this one with 16 points, only 60% from the free throw line. Nails the second one, however. Owls leading by one. White inbounds it inside to Miller. Miller finds Dunn on the left elbow. Dunn over to Miller. Miller looking for some space. Gets it over to Dunn. Dunn with one minute remaining in this one. Looking, trying to create some space. Double team finds a wide open Miller who can't connect on the three ball there. Rebounded by Johnson. Knights going the other way. 45 seconds left. And a timeout is called by the UCF Knights. Owls up one in this one. 52-51. 45 seconds remaining when we come back. Don't go anywhere. back here 45 seconds remaining UCF ball CJ Kelly to inbound here guarded by Dunn finds Johnson top of the key guarded by Hicks 40 seconds Johnson finds Kelly Kelly draws the open space fakes out John Cooch over to Hendricks Hendricks Goes for the jumper and connects. 53-52 for the Knights. 26 seconds remaining. Dunn brings it the other way. Timeout called by the Owls. 24.5 seconds remaining. We'll stay here. As the Owls plan on who will take what seems to be the last shot of the game. Remember the shot clock has been turned off with 24 seconds remaining. Damian Dunn has been quiet this evening with only eight points on the game. And again, the Owls have led the entire game except for in the last two minutes with the go-ahead free throw from Kelly. Owls struggling here down the stretch, shooting 41% from the field only 24% from three-point land. UCF, meanwhile, has been able to connect on five of their last six field goals. Low-scoring game, however, with the sixth seed up for grabs here. Remember, both teams struggling as of late. UCF losing three of its last four. The Owls losing six of its last seven, including two in a row at home. 24 seconds left. Dunn will inbound it inside to Miller, who finds Dunn. 18 seconds now. Dunn drives inside and is fouled. Dunn hits the deck pretty hard on that one. He's helped out by his teammates as he'll go to the line to shoot two. Dunn, just the type of guy you want at the line in the later stages of a game. An 88% free throw shooter. And everyone up on their feet here at the Leah Corridor Center in what will be the final 20 seconds here in this arena for the Owls. Dunn makes the first. Tie game here, 53-53. 17 seconds left. (laughs) 
And Dunn gets the second one to go, and the Owls go ahead by one, 54-53. Knights with one timeout left, and they take it. 14.7 seconds to go. Knights trailing by one. Looks like they'll presumably go with Durr. Excuse me, looks like they'll go with Kelly, who leads the team with 17 points on the night. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, we'll have the closing seconds in this thrilling encounter with the Owls ahead, 54 to 53. All right, we're back here in what is a scintillating encounter. Owls up by one against the UCF Knights in their final home game of the season. On the floor for the Owls, John Pooch, White, Hicks, Jordan and Dunn. On the floor for the UCF Knights, Thorain, Johnson, Gordon, Kelly, and Hendricks. 14 seconds to go in this one. Quick inbounds. Kelly on Dunn. Kelly goes for the lay-in. Over John Cooch and gets the lay-in to fall there. Up by one. Seven seconds left. Owls still have a timeout. Dunn fouled. Unable to get it to go with 2.7 seconds remaining. Dunn will go to the line to shoot two. McKee opting not to go for the timeout with that one as the Owls had one to give. But Dunn, the 88% free throw shooter, will go to the line to look to give the Owls the lead. Don able to connect on the first. Tie ball game here at 55 to 55. Number two seconds left. Dunn misses the second, but Jordan gets the tip end with 0.5 seconds to go. Nick Jordan with the clutch rebound and puts it back in with 0.5 seconds remaining. What a big time play for the big man, Nick Jordan. Able to clean up Dunn's miss free throw there to give the Owls a crucial two-point lead in this one. The Knights will have 0.5 seconds left on the clock when we come back from this one. Gonna have to drop a desperation heave. Much play though from Jordan. His 10th point of the night. All right, coming off the timeout. Big time play from Nick Jordan on the putback off the missed free throw by Don. Owls up 57-55. And the referees have put the game clock to 0.9 seconds. So a little bit more wiggle room for the Knights, but not much. But they're going to have to throw up a desperation heave if they're to hope for a miracle in this one. And steal the win from the Owls in their last home game of the season. Freeman inside gets it off to, and it's no good by Johnson. The Owls claim this one, 
57-55 for the Temple Owls as they close out their final home game of the season with a nail-biting win over the UCF Knights. Thank you for all those listening on WHIP Radio. I'm Jesse Dimitrovay. Have a wonderful rest of your evening.